गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडेज आर टॉपिक इट्स रिप्रोडक्शन इन ऑर्गेनिजम्स ओके सो टे वी आर गोन स्टडी अबाउट द सेक्चुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन ऑर्गेनिज्म वॉट इज द टॉपिक सेक्चुअल रिप्रोडक्शन In previous lecture, we already studied the asexual reproduction in organisms and plants. Now we are going to study about the sexual reproduction in organisms. Okay. So, as we know that the asexual reproduction is occurs in simple body organization orga organisms, right? It generally occurs in unisexual organism, but also it occurs in very simpler organization of their bo of bodies, like algae, fungi, blah blah blah. Okay, so simpler body like algae and fungi. Okay, S but in simpler body that is algae and fungi, but condition is it? during unfavorable condition. During unfavorable meaning, they shift to the sexual reproduction. I am talking about sexual reproductions. Okay, so what happens in that? As we know, a sexual reproduction is a most common method of reproduction in organism, having simpler organization like. Algae and fungi, but during unfavorable the condition, they shift to the sexual reproduction. Okay, so our today's our topic is sexual. Here I am writing a sexual reproduction is the most. common method of reproduction in organisms having simpler body for example Yes, yes. This algae and fungi, but during unfavorable condition. But during unfavorable condition, they ship to. sexual reproduction understood yes so as we know that a sexual reproduction is a very common method that occurs in unicellular organism or the organism that have a very simpler body form it may be algae or maybe fungi but Why the unfavorable condition in is occurs in that particular organism life? Okay, in that time, from a sexual reproduction, they shift to the sexual reproduction. Okay, so today is our topic: sexual reproduction. So we will see. So, what is sexual reproduction? So, sexual reproduction. So, what do you mean by sexual reproduction? We know that it involves the formation of male and female gamete by the two individual of opposite sex. Definitely, what happened here? Two individual are involved. Are involved, okay, with opposite sex. Okay, it means that we can say like that. Sexual reproduction involves the formation of a male and female gamete 
yes what is this this is a formation of male and female gamete okay by two individual of opposite sex okay now gamete fuse what will happen after this gamete fuse male and female gametes they are formed so male and ga female gamete fuse to form a this to form a zygote right which develop to form a and further it's develop to form a new organism understood so what happen in sexual reproduction yes first it involve the formation of male and female gamete by the two individual of opposite sex okay secondly what happen whatever the gametes are produced these gametes are fused to form a zygote and this zygote which develop to form a new organism okay this sexual reproduction is an elaborated very complex and slow process okay what is the it is very elaborate process it's a very long process okay it is very elaborate then it's very complex it's not a simple process it's very complex and it's a slow process as compared to the a sexual reproduction okay a sexual reproduction is very simple process and it's very fast process okay and at the same time we got the large number of offsprings in a sexual reproduction but what happened in sexual reproduction it is an elaborate process it is an elaborate it's very long process it's and it's very complex and slow process as compared to the a sexual reproduction okay now whatever the offsprings are produced by the fusion of male and female gamete okay this is male gamete and this is female okay and from this formation new offsprings are produced okay so what is next whatever the offspring produced by the fusion of male and female gamete it's it's not identical to each other okay they are not identical to each other or or to the parents also. to the parents okay it means that whatever what i told you just now whatever the offspring is produced by the fusion of male and female gamete right this offsprings are not identical to each other if you have siblings right you have sibli siblings though you have from the same parents but you have lots of dissimilarity and very less similarities yes it means you both are not identical to each other and not even identical to their parents okay so what happened during sexual reproduction whatever the new offspring is from by the fusion of male and female gamete it's not identical to their siblings and not even to their parents okay now all the sexually reproducing organisms share similar pattern of reproduction whatever the uh, organism that organisms followed sexual reproduction okay so all that sexually reproducing organism all that sexually reproducing organism share similar pattern of reproduction share similar pattern of reproduction what this means share whatever the, all the whatever the organism in that organism sexual reproduction is occurs that all this organism share similar pattern of what is meant what is the similar pattern of means 
first of all what will happen they have firstly they form a gamete means what will happen in all the sexual reproducing organism first step is formation of gametes after formation what will happen transfer of gamete after transferring what will have a fertilization is occur and after fertilization zygote is from after the zygote embryo embryogenesis occur it means from the zygote embryo is from from the embryo new organism is born so this method is same in all the sexually reproducing organism that's why here here it's written all the sexually reproducing organism share a similar pattern of reproduction understood or not what will happen here male is there here female is there okay it give gametes okay firstly form gametes here is egg here is sperm okay then transfer this gamete into this female body because as we know that male gamete is always motile right transfer then transferring is done okay after transferring what will happen fertil zygote form it means fertilization is occurs what is the result of fertilization zygote is formed after zygote what will happen embryo is from mean embryogenesis occurs and after embryogenesis new organism is occurs okay so this pattern is same in all the sexually reproducing organism okay that's why here i'm written it was written over here all the sexually reproducing organism share a similar pattern of reproduction understood or not okay see in sexual reproduction fusion of male and female gametes result in offspring and that are not identical to parent we already studied okay so study of diverse organism okay what i am just told you a study of diverse organism it may be a plant it may be an animal or it may be a fungi okay all this animal all this plant and fungi show show that do they differ and greatly external morphology when we are going to study about a diverse organism okay plant animals fungi they show that the uh, you know differ fungi they show that they differ so greatly in external morphology in human external morphology is different in plant is totally different in fungi it is totally different right not only they differ in external morphology not only they differ in external morphology they also differ in internal structure also right internal structure not only internal cell physiology is totally different physiology also totally different right we have hands legs plants have hands leg mm -hmm. in a internal cell we have made up of bones and inside this bones and bony structures fragile organs are present okay is it occurs in a plant no it's totally is it occurs in algae is it occurs in fungi no it means that so i can see like that a study of diverse organism plants animals or fungi show that though they differ so greatly in external morphology internal structure and physiology but when it comes to but when all of you it comes to the sexual mode of reproduction okay again i am reading okay though we have all the variety of organism present on the earth they differ in external morphology internal structure and physiology but when it comes to the sexual mode of reproduction okay surprisingly they share a similar uh i can say pattern okay this 
they show the similar pattern similar pattern of the reproduction whether it may be a plant it may be a fungi or it may be a human beings or it may be a organs okay so let us discuss what the features are common to this diverse organism so what right now we are going to study what the features are common what are the features that are common in in all this diverse organism okay so for that for that there are different phases in sexual reproduction so first we are going to study about the different phases in sexual reproduction okay so start so next topic is different phases in sexual reproduction there are three phases basically okay the first there are three phases okay first is called as juvenile phase first second phase is called as reproductive phase is called as senescent phase okay these are three phases in sexual reproduction okay now uh you know that all this organism have to reach a certain stage of growth and maturity the living organism okay it may be a insect it may be a plant or human beings or any animals okay so all these organisms have to reach a certain stage of growth and maturity in their life before they can uh, reproduce sexually okay before they can reproduce sexually there are two stages there are two steps are occurs in their life that is the growth and maturity understood so the period between so i can say now we are going to this okay juvenile phase so this period between the birth and sexual maturity that period is known as juvenile phase understood so here i am writing the definition of juvenile phase is that this period between birth and sexual maturity okay is called juvenile phase understood so the period between the birth by birth to attain a sexual maturity between that two phases whatever the period is there, that period is called as juvenile phase okay this in plant in plant this phase is known as vegetative phase okay and in animals it's called a juvenile phase okay now the end of this juvenile phase marks the beginning of this reproductive phase so i can write over here means the end of juvenile phase right juvenile phase or we can call as vegetative phase. when we are talking about the animal then it's called as juvenile phase 
when we are talking about the plant then this phase is known as instead of juveline they will called as vegetative phase so end of juveline phase or vegetative phase that phase marks the beginning of this reproductive phase right the beginning of the reproductive phase okay now we we study now we are we will study second phase that is called as repro we already studied the jewel line very simple what is jewel line the period between birth and sexual maturity of an living organism that period is known as jewel line phase when we are talking about the organism animals then this is called a jewel line when we are talking about the plant then this phase is known as vegetative phase and at the end of jewel line and vegetative phase that phase is marks mean the starting of this reproduction now we study the reproductive phase you can see this reproductive phase can be seen very easily in higher plant but how when they comes to flower right we can see we can easily identify or we can easily see in higher plant what we are talking about reproductive phase okay but how we can seen in higher plant when they comes to flower when they comes to flowers okay at that time we come to know that the reproductive phase is starting it's begin in this plant okay so some plants show flowering in particular which seasons so all all are uh, all the plants are flower giving no okay so some plant shows flower in particular season and some other flowers in all season okay few plants are there they are seasonal flower giving plant right and some are giving flower in all the seasons in mean all 12 months okay but some other plants except this plant seasonal and non seasonal plant but some plants are there for example i am giving you that is called as bamboo okay so some other plants like a bamboo species species of plant okay that species flowers once in a life just imagine it's only once in a lifetime okay usko khali lifetime mein uske life mein pur ek hi baar flower aata hai okay aur wo bhi after generally 15 to 100 years understood fine yes so some are seasonal plant some are seasonal flower giving plant some are giving flower in all the seasons okay but except some plants are there just like a bamboo plants or we can say bamboo species or okay that bamboo species gives flower once in a their lifetime after 15 and 100 years another plant uh, another plant i'm example i'm giving you it is called as stru, strawberry strawberry lanthus yes strawberry lanthus it's strawberry lanthus uh kunthiana okay strawberry and this kunthiana it is a botanical name of plant that is called as nila kurenji okay so this strawberry and this strawberry and this kunthiana plant gives flower once in a 12 years okay gives flowers once in 12 years okay so such type of plants are also available uh, in our nature okay this is about this plant then we are talking about this animals it means human beings and all others animals okay 
this is all about the plants now we are talking about the animals okay when we are study the animals so the female placental animal means we are talking only about the female okay placenta those have placenta when during gestational period okay so female placental animal so now we are talking about only the female placental animal that exhibit that female like placental animal exhibit means they have cyclic changes there occur cyclic there are cyclic changes in three man okay there occur cyclic changes in activities in activities in cyclic changes in activities of ovaries not only ovaries but also accessory gland and third one is hormones okay that three factors are responsible responsible for reproductive changes in female placental animal so i can say like that in female placental animal exhibit the cyclic changes in the activities of this ovaries accessory gland as well as this hormone during the reproductive phase okay now so what type of cyclic changes there are first so we will study here first here is menstrual in reproductive tissue menstrual cycle okay you know what is in menstrual cycle okay so this cycle generally occurs in monkey apes apes and human being okay now this cycle basically consist of three phases and that we already studied that is first is called as menstrual phase right second is called as proliferative phase yes and third one is called as secretory phase so where uh, in which of the anism menstrual cycle is occurs so it occurs in monkey app apes and human beings okay this menstrual cycle has three phases that contain menstrual phase proliferative phase and secretory phase here the blood flows in the last few days of cycle it means in menstrual phase blood is flow okay blood flow is occurs in that uh in this menstrual phase okay so why this blood uh, why the blood flow is occur because of this broken of endometrium wall it because of the brokening of endometrium wall of uterus okay and that is passed during the menstruation that's why blood is flow and that is passed out that is passed out during menstruation okay that is nothing but the blood flow okay now female does not per permit during this phase menstrual cycle this female does not permit means are not allowed population 
during this phase copulation means sexual intercourse okay so during this is all about the menstrual cycle so it occurs in monkeys apes and human being it has three phases menstrual phase porphyritic or secretory phase what is blood flow is occurs in menstrual phase what is why it's occurs because of the endometrium wall of uterus is broken and because of that this endometrium wall of uterus along with the cell debris and and the fluids of or secretion of the endometrium gland that pass out during the menstruation and that is nothing but the blood flow okay here in in menstrual cycle the female does not permit the copulation that is called as sexual intercourse it should be avoided by the female during this phase now second cycle we will see that is called as estrus cycle okay what is this estrus cycle okay this estrus cycle it occurs in primates and this it occurs in non primates okay the estrus cycle occurs in non primate for example it occurs in cow sheep it occurs in rat it occurs in deer dog tiger etc understood so estrus cycles generally occurs in non primates that is that are cow sheep rat deer dog tiger etc okay. it consists of very short period of estrus here we have menstrual phases 4 to 5 days but here the estrus phase okay so in this estrus cycle consists of very short period of estrus estrus is nothing but the heat okay if they have lots of heat inside their body okay but it have very short then the cycle is occurs okay so there is a very short period of estrus that is nothing but the heat it generally uh, it's generally it's uh, near about it is 12 to 24 hours in cow okay is generally is different in different animals